G'day kids, welcome to Kids Church Online from Mullum Mullum Anglican Church. We are very excited to be sharing with you this term, the Book of Acts. We're going to learn some stuff about Jesus and the way his message spread around the whole world. So, in fact, that message is so important, I'm going to teach you a little line here with some actions. You ready? The message of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Let's say that together. The message of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Great, don't forget that. All right, so this is Jesus. When Jesus lived here on earth, he had a message to tell. The message was about the kingdom of God. Jesus was God's chosen king. So everyone needs to trust Jesus. This was the message that Jesus spoke when, in here, when he was here on earth. But then Jesus had been killed. And all of Jesus' friends had seen Jesus die on a cross. And when Jesus had been killed, it looked like the message had been stopped. But then... Jesus rose. He came back to life. Jesus' friends couldn't believe their eyes. They had seen Jesus suffer. They had seen Jesus die on the cross. But now he was here, standing in front of them. Jesus had risen from the dead. Jesus was the risen King. In fact, Jesus is still alive and is with us today. Jesus, the risen King, looked at his friends and he said, you must take my message around the whole world. But how could Jesus, his ordinary 11 friends, do that? Jesus said, very soon I promise to give you a very special gift. His name is the Holy Spirit. He will give you power to spread his message. So the Holy Spirit would give power to spread the message of the risen King Jesus. And we're going to learn a bit more about the Holy Spirit next week. So don't forget to come back. Jesus' friends were commanded to take his message from Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel, to Judea, up in here on the world map, got a great big world globe here, to Samaria and to the whole world. Isn't that amazing? And we're just here in Melbourne, Australia. But after Jesus commanded his friends to take the message throughout the whole world, Jesus left. Jesus went up into the clouds. Jesus, the risen King, returned up to be with God. Without Jesus, would Jesus' friends be able to spread the message of risen Jesus all over the world? Or would it be too hard? Well, as we keep looking at the book of Acts over the rest of the term, we're going to see that God's message really did spread. So remember that line I taught you at the start? Let's do it again. The message of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. The message of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Excellent. And Jesus commands us still today to take his message all around the world. But we might think, we're in Australia. It's already reached all around the whole world. And that is true, but there are still lots, lots and lots of people who don't trust the risen King Jesus. And so Jesus commands us still today to keep taking his message all around the world. So let's pray that we can be obeying the risen King Jesus. Pray with me. Dear Jesus, 
Thank you that you are the risen King. Please help us to obey you and spread your message to everyone, wherever we are. Amen. everyone it's time for some craft and Byron was helping us think about the fact that when Jesus came and then he told all his followers about him and about how to know him it was like this whole new message that we could share with others and so I thought today we might do a craft about a message that became clear so for this craft you're going to need some paper and a white crayon and then if you've got them some watercolor paints, but you can also just use pencils. Uh, and so I've got some water in a cup here to help the watercolor paint. So I'm gonna write Byron's message that he taught us in my white crayon. The message Can you see it? Oh, you can't see it yet. It's a little bit like a secret message. Well, here's the thing. Some people didn't know the message of Jesus. It was a little bit like my secret message. They didn't know it yet. They needed someone to help them. Well, this is where our colored watercolors come in. So you can get your watercolor paints and I'm gonna start with some blue. And if you get your colored paints and paint over the crayon, the message comes through. You might like to change colors or you need a bit of water to make this work. And a bit more paint. Make sure when you're doing yours that you have pressed really hard on your white crayon, otherwise it might not come up very well. And you can send us a picture when you've finished. We look forward to seeing your pictures and you can show us yours when you're done. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>